They hold him. What are you boys doing out here? Do you know it's dangerous to go outside the walls? Of course it is, man. That's why you get a sword. He just like whips out his rapier and sticks it up in the air. Like swishes it around. Oh, I'm fucking I, my giant sword. I, I do the same and just hold it up. Why do you think I have this, Holmes? Same reason I have it, man. You look awesome. You just keep swinging it around and carelessly. <laughs> but you need a pretty good reason to use it outside the walls, like such. I don't pray for anything, I man. I'm waiting. If there's money involved, come on, homie. We're friends. I buy from you all the time, you know I never fleeced you. Come on, you can let Papa know. I already, I don't think, my dad's dead, man. Well, I'll be your pop. You're like three years younger than me. I don't care, homie. I'll Sorry. be your poppy. I don't want a poppy, man. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Woman, no, I don't want no poppy. <laughs> Come to poppy, Holmes. I'm just going to try and reach in your hook. Um, are you going to try and resist? <laughs> yeah, he just kind of like pushes him away. Oh, do that. Well, you're going to have to make a strength save to resist. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, do I roll strength? Um, yeah, you'll have to roll against each other. So if he, if he ah. rolls, then you, you get to hug him. I got a six. All right, Bell knows what did you get? Eleven. You successfully hug him, although he appears to be relatively uncomfortable and trying to break him. Breath smells like quesadilla. <laughs> On my face. <laughs> he just like pulls a J out of his pocket and hits it. You You're gonna have to make a constitution save if you hit the drugs already. You literally just drank that shit and woke up, so you're definitely gonna have it. Yeah, I got a 10. Uh, okay, you are not absurdly fucked up, but you are definitely jazzed. How many hours has it been so far? Uh, you literally haven't left Golgar's house, so zero. You literally just ate the lollipop, they had their little conversation, and then he did that, so maybe like 15 minutes has gone by. Yeah, Cham, that shit lasts at minimum. Uh, like normal, t- like if we're going up real life rules, that shit will last about twelve hours. I you won't be like tripping for twelve. You'll be tripping for more like eight or ten. Well, then after a few hours, Hoden will make a comment like, "You must have done this shit before, man." Yeah, he did. You gave it to him. Oh yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> I did give it to him. Game takes the lead, dragging you along on your leash. So you're uh, you're walking along through the woods on your path. It's your first day. Uh, Cham again is still kind of messed up. You're about seven hours into your march, so you're starting to go down, but you're still pretty fucked up. You start hearing noises. You hear basically what sounds like somebody off in the distance yelling orders uh, very, very loudly, a male voice. But you you can tell what direction it's in. But you don't really. It's kind of inaudible. You kind of just hear it from afar. Shit, man, it's the cops. Say what? Twelve, bro. The one time. Five o. Oink, oink. The popo. The popo. Oink, oink. I'm gonna try and hide. <laughs> the fucking bush. <laughs> okay, you're, okay, you're gonna hide, so you're gonna have to both make stealth rolls. I rolled a five on that one, and that guy's now in jail. Uh, I rolled an eighteen. Okay. Uh, Kane rolled a 17, so he's able to uh, stuff Cam under some bushes and uh, hide under there as well. Uh, you also hit under some more bushes, and Rocka, what did you get? I rolled a 5. You pull a tree branch in front of yourself, and you can still see your lower body. <laughs> it's just my feet. Yeah, literally, <laughs> just see your, the, if anybody comes by, they'll just see your feet. You all hide, but the sound doesn't sound like it's getting any closer. Hoden, like, peaks above his branch. Uh, you still can't see anything, although there is, now that you notice in the sky, there is a, uh, a smoke trail coming up. Looks like maybe from a campfire. That's the camp of the Popo. We don't go there, hombres. We don't go there. Okay, so are you going to continue? Yeah, keeping okay. an eye out for a way to avoid the Popo. I'm so going to you- cut the bush and just carry the bush like I'm um, fucking salt snake. Right. Yeah. You're gonna have to roll to cut that thing with a rapier. All right, I got a seven. Yeah. Uh, you get like four or five pretty large branches, so you can kind of camouflage yourself into other bushes, but you can't camouflage yourself into them. I'm going to stick them in random parts of my clothing, so it looks like a sprouting branch, a sprouting bush. Okay, so you guys continue on, and uh, you, you 
camp, Cham, you have now come down off of your uh, excursion into uh, yeah. going on psychedelics, so you're back to normal, although you're groggy, and you have left the sound behind, you have left it behind you, it's not there. If you just want to keep going, then we can go right into the next day. All right, let's keep going. Let's do this. Uh, you guys are walking through, again, uh, through one of some more kind of rolling hills. Uh, there's a few stone fences and stuff around. You're you're all gonna have to roll for yourself. I rolled a 13. Okay. 18. Uh, I rolled a 17. Uh, 15. Okay. All of you uh, stop before uh, and notice that there is rustling in the bushes on the left, and it is not something that is small. Los putos. Who are you? You don't want to mess with the guy. I'm done. So you're yelling at a rustling. Let the putos men don't come for us. Oh, I'm leaving, man. We're not with this guy, bro. Yeah, fucking scared the hell out of you. There's literally just a rustling bush. You don't know what's in it. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm, gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna hide anyway. Think of a rock, <laughs> throw it at him. So, Valnos, you're gonna have to roll to hide, and Cham, you're gonna have to roll to uh, a dexterity check to throw the rock in. I rolled a 13, but remember I have the branches on these two. So <laughs> you get uh, you get a, a, a half point out of three grants, so you get a plus two to your to your stealth rolls, at least while they're alive. Oh. All right, so Valnos, you successfully blend in with another bush, and you are now unseen. Cham, I rolled a 19. You throw a rock, and it destroys the bush, revealing that there is a crowd of about six goblins with the, with swords hiding behind it, waiting to attack you. All right, roll a fucking... Everybody's going to roll initiative. I rolled an 18. I got a 17 for initiative. Uh, got a 5. Natty, 20. Kane has rolled first, so he will go first. Then uh, Kane, Sham, Goblin, 6, and Rock, uh, Rock and Velmas would be both rolled. Yeah, I rolled a 17. I'm waiting for my moment, I see. Okay, so you're not going to roll initiative yet. You're going to keep hiding. They don't notice that you're there. Uh, so, Kane, you have first dibs on who you want to shoot. You have Goblins 1 through 6. Let's just go with Goblin 1. But, uh, Kane, you will go first, so you get to side your Goblin 1, so what are you going to do? I'm going to hit him with a magic missile. Well, I rolled the 13. So, you hit. Yeah, let's do this. 3 plus uh, 1, so it's 4. Uh, oh, Goblin 1 explodes into various pieces. He is dead. Yay! He only had 3 health. Yay! Kane, you have successfully blown up uh, Goblin 1, so Goblin 1 is dead. So, I'm, I'm going to do Bum Rush in the center of all of them, and I'm going to attack the nearest one. So, you are going to attack Goblin 3. Alright, I rolled 11. You hit. Let's see, that is a 10. I got 12. You cleave him in half, he is dead. Uh, also, Kane, you get uh, 15 experience for killing that goblin, Sam, you get 15 experience for killing the one you just killed. Yep, 2, 4, 5, 6. Um, goblin 6 is going to be able to go now, because he rolled a 19. He is going to try and attack Sham, since Sham is right there. He barely, barely misses. So he does miss his attack. Uh, he doesn't hurt anything, but you are able to dodge and get out of the way. So Hoden's just kind of disappointed because he saw a potential clientele and Cham just cleaved two of them in half, so he just kind of killed all those ventures. Well, there's still <laughs> four of them left if you want to try and talk to them, but they are goblins. They are goblins, but Cham just killed two of their homies. <laughs> yeah, no, they're... they're One of the uh, big homies, so they actually, might listen. Hey, man, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no need for all this combat and hostility, man. You're gonna need to roll a charisma check if you're. You guys wanna? We can call this over, uh, you know, some of the uh, devil's giggle bush. You know? I rolled a 13. <laughs> devil's okay, giggle bush. Uh, I'm gonna roll for them <laughs> to see if they believe you. Uh, they rolled a, a 19, so they're still pissed. Uh, they they still want to kill you. That that is a minor action, by the way. You can still attack. Oh, come on, guys. I don't want to have to use my big needle pokey thing, man. Just swishes it around. <laughs> are you trying? Try, are you trying to roll with intimidation now instead of persuade? Yeah, let's go with intimidation instead okay, of Okay, roll. Give me an intimidation roll. Fuck, man! Another dice going to jail. That was a four. <laughs> they are. They are not intimidated, and they kind of point and laugh at you. Um, yeah. Belmos, you have a chance if you want to try and sneak up and stab one. Uh, which one's closest to me? Uh, so we have goblins two, four, five, and six. Uh, goblin five is the closest to you. Uh, can I run out of the bush and try to poke him with my rip? Roll for attack. I got a six. Uh, okay. Uh, you do not hit him. Uh, instead you stab, like, right next to his head and he freaks out and moves away. Uh, he is going to... 
He rolled, um, he rolled a 19, so he does not shit himself and run away. Instead, he has now uh, steeled his resolve to fight you. Uh, so the next one, Goblin 5, is actually going to be the next one that's going to be able to roll for attack. He is going to try and attack you because you just tried to stab him. Or, sorry, no, sorry. He rolled a 7, so he does miss. Uh, so next would be Goblin 4. So Goblin 4 is going to try and attack Sam. He rolled a two. He misses completely and actually manages to stab himself on Cham's sword, which causes two HP of damage. So he is, he is, his arm is pretty much not usable right now, or at least one of his arms. So is his arm still, uh... His arm is still attached, but he's sliced into his shoulder, so he's severed like a bunch of, like, tendons and shit, so he can't move that arm. So he, he's an idiot. He just, he just crippled his arm. Now, Goblin 2 is the last one, and Goblin 2 is again uh, going to try and attack Cham, and he rolls an 11 this time, uh, so he's going to... He, he, all of them have uh, just short swords, so it, it should be 1d6 yeah. for all of them. Alright, so uh, Goblin 4, who connects with his attack, does 2 damage to you, and now it is back to Kane. I'm gonna run over and hit the Goblin that's missing most of his arm with my stick. My staff, okay. that is. Okay, so you're going to run up to him and strike him, so you're going to have to roll the hit. Uh, 13. You do hit, so you're going to have to roll for damage. And it's a 6! Uh, okay, you uh, you knock his head off with the stick. His, his head goes bouncing down the street like a soccer ball. Yes! So he is dead, you gain 15 experience. Alright, so Kane, you killed him, so now it goes to Cham. So Cham, you still have goblins uh, 2, 4, and 6. How, how close are they? Uh, Goblin 6 is immediately next to you because he just tried to attack you. Uh, Goblin 4 is also immediately next to you because he decided to attack you. And Goblin 2 is kind of back. Attack Goblin 6. Uh, okay. So Goblin 6. So, uh, you don't need to move at all. He should be right near you, so you just need to roll the hit. That's a 10. Uh, okay. You do manage to hit barely, but you do manage to move. It's a 4. I got a 3 for 1, and uh, the other one's 1. Okay, um, so you successfully uh, cut off Goblin Six's left arm, which he is not holding a sword in, so he is basically down to about half health. Um, he is not stunned, however, and he is going to attempt to attack you back because it is now his turn. So he will take a minus two to that attack roll, which he misses, uh, so now it goes down to Raka. All right, so I'm going to go for the one who's half health, except this time I'm going to use my I'm going to use my crossbow instead. All right, okay, man. That's gonna be a dexterity. I got I friggin' I tried to be nice. I'm tired of this. All right, so that was a ten on the die. Okay, you do manage to hit him. I mean, crossbows are kind of weak, but that's a one. I did one damage with my crossbow. You did do one damage, but because you did roll a decent, you have a decent dex, that crossbow bolt went through his foot and is now pinning him to the ground, so he can't move. Yeah, but that hurt. I'm gonna go for the pinky toe next, man. Well, knows it's now your turn. All right, which one is closest? Goblin two is closest to you. Eighteen. Then you you hit him. You get to roll for damage. I rolled a two. Rolled a two. Okay. <laughs> he is barely clinging to life after you have stabbed him. Uh, I shout at the top of my lungs. El palito. He has basically surrendered himself at this point. He drops his weapon and begs for his life because now he is down. <laughs> One HP, and uh, he has been stabbed, shot in the foot, and his arm has been cut off. Uh, can I beat the shit out of him? Um, you've already used up your action for this turn. Yeah. No one beat up. No one strike Goblin Six. I'm gonna beat the shit. Goblin Four is going to go after Sham because he's right there. Uh, he rolls a 17, so he does hit. Okay, he does uh, three damage, so he does a kind of a serious. He stabs you right in the butt. Okay. So that was Goblin 4. Goblin 2 is the next one. Still a little fucked up, but he is going to roll for his attack, and he's going to roll against Belnos. He misses his attack, and it is now your... You have Goblin 6, Goblin 2, and Goblin 4. Goblin 4 has not been touched. Goblin... Don't, don't you, don't touch Goblin 4. He is mine. Basically, it leaves you with... Uh, uh, gob either Goblin 2 or Goblin 6. Well, let's just go with Goblin 2 then. I'm gonna run over and hit him with my stick again. Okay, uh, so you're gonna have, so you run up, which is the minor action, and now you're going to use your stick so you can roll the hit. Uh, 12. You do hit. 4. 4. Uh, you do manage to kill Goblin 2. He is dead. You, yeah. and you basically hit him in the ribs to the point where you shattered his rib cage and put bones and stuff into all his tiny little organs. So he's he's just bleeding out internally. He's gonna die. Yes. Right. 
All right, my turn. So uh, he, yep. just, he just stabbed me in the ass. I'm grabbing him by the face. All right, that's going to yeah. be a strength check. That, strength that's a minor. Check. Grabbing him is a minor action. I rolled a 16 for strength. Uh, yeah, okay. you do grab him specifically with a spot that you want to grab him in. I'm going to crush his fucking skull. That's also mm-hmm. going to be a strength check. That is a 16. Okay, you don't crush his entire skull, but he looks to be in a very serious amount of pain. Three damage on Goblin 4, so he has three damage done to him. He is still alive, uh, however, he is bleeding from his eyes, nose, and mouth. Uh, I'm yelling out that no one fucking touch him. <laughs> well, they can't really unless they want to run up and stab him while he's still in your arms. So Goblin 6 has basically surrendered, so he, he's begging for his life. It would be his turn next. So uh, then it would hop down to Raka, I guess, has already stabbed Goblin 6. I'm going to walk up to the... Is the one that's pinned still alive, or did he get Yeah, killed? he has one health left. He's the, one, he's the one that's begging for his life. I'm going to walk up to him, and I'm just going to, like, stab him with my rapier. Okay. He can't move, so there's really no dodge. You have to roll to make sure that you hit. Yeah, I got an 18. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's, he's pretty much dead. You just got to roll for damage to see how hard he dies. You should have you should have just taken my weed, man. Like, I tried to be nice. I'm a nice guy, man. I tried. Uh, that's a or actually, it's five damage total. Okay, you, you do a whole Zoro thing, you slice his throat in like a couple major arteries, and he falls Wait, over. Wait, you can't! Him. Well, he rolled an 18, so he's able to slash with the rapier, so he does the whole little thing, and that goblin is dead. You get 15 experience, Rocket. Um, and is now, I, I would assume, I'm gonna just go back to Sam, because that, that goblin's the only one left. Uh, unless, Kane, you want to steal this from him. Oh, I have the option? Don't uh, you dare. It's technically your turn in... In Don't you dare. Because so you you're not going to like what I'm going to do to you. Tell you what. Oh, you give me 10 gold and I won't do it. 10 copper. 5 silver. Five, okay, I give you 5 silver. No idea. Okay, right. then uh, you have forfeited your turn for 5 silver to Cham. Cham, you now have a chance to finish off this goblin. It is still in your No, hands. I'm putting both trap. hands on his, uh, on his fucking head. And I rolled a 20. So you're going to have to roll for damage, uh, but it's going to okay. be a crit anyway. It's a 4. Because that's that's doubled, uh, you as you literally uh, just pop his head like a zit, and it explodes all over you. So you're now covered in goblin form. Don't fuck with Gale! All right, combat is now over. All of you all right, get so- uh, all of you get seventy five experience for participating in combat. 